Hello, good morning, good morning, good morning. How is my wonderful Facebook friends and family doing today? <clears throat> How is everyone doing today? Happy hump day. Happy Wednesday to everyone. Hope it's beautiful wherever you are. Right here, we are fully overcast right now. We're gonna get some rain and another two hours or so, but it's all good to make it nice and cool right now, so you know, no skies back there, just heavy clouds. But I'll get enough time to get through my walk in this morning and get back into the house before all these showers come down. But it's nice and cool here. Temperatures are nice and cool, so I can get to do what I need to do this morning, man. Hope everyone is happy wherever they are. Happy hump day to everyone. Man, the enemy was fighting me this morning, fighting me this morning to come out and give you this message. But I know some people probably waiting to hear this, so he make a weak attempt. But anyhow, <clears throat> today, what I want to talk about is patience, having patience, right? Patience. Petal Daniels, Kendall, how are you doing today, my good friend? How are you doing today? Hope all is well with you. Yeah, so today we want to talk about patience. Patience, right? Jillian, big sis, how are you doing? How are you doing this morning? Hope the weather is good there in New York, right? So patience we want to talk about today. Yes, Ketel, thanks. Happy Wednesday to you too. So, when, so patience we want to talk about today. And I know some people probably was in the same situation I was in. Right? And my son liked basketball, right? He liked basketball and was training from a young age. And you know, you're putting in all this work. I know my plan, right? I know my plan. I'm trying to teach him all the foundational stuff. And so when you're teaching that, you're going through, you're putting in a lot of work. And look like, man, all the work that you're putting in, you're not seeing the results in the proportion, right? And you can get a little frustrated and you're seeing other kids doing things and you're like, man, you know, all this work I put it in, I don't get in the results in the proportion that that you um that you're putting it in. And you could tend to get a little frustrated at the time. Even though you know your plan, you could tend to get a little frustrated, right? So one day I heard a little voice said in my head, Miss Karen McCann, thank you for watching. I heard a little voice said, Gregory, remember the story of the Chinese bamboo tree. Remember the story of the Chinese bamboo tree. Right, so I'm gonna tell that story to you guys today and it might help some of you guys because it definitely did help me and put things back into perspective for me. Now the Chinese bamboo tree, right? When you plant it, right, you plant the seeds, you need to keep watering and fertilizing it, right? So the first year is gonna pass, you're watering and you're fertilizing this patch of land. People might see you doing this and might like, what's going on with him or her? they're crazy every day i see they're coming out they're just watering and plant and, and, and weeding and fertilizing i'm not seeing anything growing up right the people might just walk and looking okay well, let's keep an eye on him something is wrong with him then the second year you're continuously doing that for the full second year nothing then people really beginning to take notice and said no nah, i think this guy is out of his head what's going on there then the third year now people close to you start talking now all right, Renita, thanks for checking in. The third year you're going on, fertilizing and watering and, and pruning and all the good stuff. And, and people close to you start telling you now. And this is the time you start kind of even questioning yourself. Am I doing the right thing, man? And people start talking. And like the enemy does, he know what's ahead, right? So he's going to use people close to you to start talking stuff now. And then the go on the fourth year, you start questioning yourself now. And this is where a lot of people drop out. Between the third and the fourth year, a lot of people drop out and, 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 and stop believing in themselves and stop believing in their plan because more people talking now. People think definitely you got to be crazy. You're putting in all this time and effort into the thing that you're doing. You're going into work early. You're leaving late. And yet still the boss is not noticing you to give you that promotion. You keep working on your dream. You keep working on your business. And nothing is happening. And people saying, man, you better to change and think about doing something else you wasting time and your money just think about doing something else right and that's where a lot of people drop out but guess what happened the fifth year 
You see a little bud come through the earth and you get some encouragement, you get some courage, right? Now you're getting some, some, some progress in whatever you're doing. You're starting to see a little bit, like we said, the light at the end of the tunnel, right? And then boom, the little um, shoot come through the ground and you go to bed and come back the next day and you're surprised to see that little shoot is five feet tall. And you're like, wow. Then you go to lunch and you come back, that, it turns six feet. The next day you go and you come back, it's turned 10 feet tall. And by the next week it's 20 feet. And then 30 feet, you're literally watching it growing in front of your eyes. And the story is, it's the truth, it's real. Google it after we finish here, if you never heard about a Chinese bamboo tree. Within six weeks, it's gonna get to 80 to 90 feet tall. Within six weeks. So the question is, did the tree take six weeks to get the 90 feet tall, or did it take five years? Did it take six weeks? Merlin Roberts, thank you for watching. Did it take six weeks to get to 80 to 90 feet, or did it take five years? Right? So that's why. And the story is, because the bigger the dream you're working on is bigger the foundation, all within the five years when you didn't see any growth above the earth, that tree was putting down some massive root foundation to support that 80, 90 feet, right? It was putting down the roots. So you didn't see anything above the surface, but a lot of work was going on under the surface. It had to get a strong root foundation to put up that surf, to put the, the, to support that structure of the 80, 90 feet structure. So the bigger the dream you working on, the bigger the thing you working on, you need that foundational period. You need that foundational period where you're gonna put down a strong foundation to support what you are doing. So I'm telling you today, remember, if you're getting frustrated in your journey right now where you are and you don't think you're seeing the results that you should see based on the amount of work you're putting in, you're putting down your foundation. Keep going. And then when you start to see the rapid growth, that's when people look and say, man, she's just progressing so rapidly. What's going on, man? What is she doing or what is he doing, man? That looks so easy. They, but they did not know when you were watering over the five years and people was laughing at you and you were questioning yourself. I'm telling you, keep on going. Because right now with, the, with my son and all the work we put in, where we were last year, to this year is like night and day, right? He tell me, man, dad, this thing is becoming easy now, you know? And you're enjoying it so much now, right? So I'm telling you, keep on going. Remember the story. They can have periods where you're working and not seeing the progress, but progress is going on under the surface. Under the surface, you are setting up that massive structure to support your growth. And I see a lot of small businesses make this, make this mistake. They just start up and they just want to jump and do all these big, massive things right away, get all the big contracts. Remember, the bigger the contract you get is the bigger the capital. I see a lot of them put the stuff out of business. Go jump, get big contracts with Walmart. Oh, I get a million dollar contract with Walmart. They didn't read the fine print. Those big companies, Walmart and them, don't pay. They only pay like three times, four times a year. So if you get a million dollar contract, you got hundreds of thousand dollars worth in payroll, and you gotta go on for three, four months before you get your first check. And they put themselves out of business because they try to go too quickly, right? They didn't wanna set that foundation, right? So guys, I'm telling you, set that foundation. Have the period where you're going, where you're seeing no progress, but progress are being made. You're becoming better. You're becoming stronger. You're becoming more mature. In terms of your business, you're getting more financially strong. You're getting the experience you need. So when the big time come, you can handle it because your foundation is strong, right? So let me read a quick script, scripture here. It says Psalms 37, 7. It says, be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not when men prosper in their ways, when they carry out wicked schemes, because you don't know what other people is doing to get the prosperity they're getting. You don't know what is their plan, right? 
like the farmers. Other farmers don't want to wait five years for the for, to get the, the harvest of the Chinese bamboo tree. So they plant little crops, short-term crops, and get them a quick turnover. And you might see in people, their plan is different from yours, and they look like they're prospering right away, and you're taking so long to prosper. They're probably planting short-term crops. They're probably taking shortcuts. They want a quick return. But you take your time and set your foundation. Set your foundation. Here's a good little quote. He said, patience is not the ability to wait, but the ability to keep good attitude while waiting. It's not the ability to only wait, but you have to keep a good attitude while waiting. And there's the next one said, trust the process. Your time is coming. Just do the work and the results will handle themselves. That's a quote from Tony Gaskin. It said, trust the process. Your time is coming. Just do the work and the results will handle themselves, guys. So thank you, thank you for listening. And just remember the story of the Chinese bamboo tree, right? That helped me, that helped put things in perspective. Set your proper foundation. Be patient. Be patient. Don't plant those short-term crops. Plant the long-term crop. That can yield you a, a fruit that can carry you through your lifetime. Right, guys? So thank you, thank you. L.C. Clark, thank you for checking in. My, my brother-in-law, how are you doing today? So guys, have a great hump day, and we're going to talk again on Friday, guys. Remember, go on to your YouTube. Check out Gregory Wiles. That's W-Y-L-E-S. You can find me on, on YouTube. Subscribe there. Check out the material that we did before. There's some great stuff that we did. So guys, have a great, great Wednesday, and I'll talk to you again, guys again on Friday. Bye.